Hello guys, it's galip for gaming here and welcome to another review, this time of Groza 1. So today we are going to start a little bit different. Groza 1 is a Russian bullpup rifle that's been designed in 1990s, so that's 25 years from now. However, DICE decided to bring us the, this new Groza 1 into Battlefield 4 with the recent Weapon Crate DLC. So, the Groza 1 is an all, an all class carbine. It does impressive 30 damage at close quarters, meaning it can get a 4 shot kill or a 2 shot headshot kill. It also has a high rate of fire at 725 RPM meaning that it's a devastating CQB weapon. On top of that, it also has a good hipfire accuracy. However, it also has a massive vertical recoil of 0 0.57 and then low aiming downside accuracy, limiting it to close quarters. So you are not going to do well at range with this gun. It also has an integrated compensator and vertical grip which means that you can't remove them on or replace them with uh, any other attachment so as i mentioned before this gun has a 725 rounds per minute rate of fire it also has 400 meters per second bullet velocity its damage it it does 30 damage and it starts and it starts dropping off at 8 meters and it goes all the way down to 52.5 meters when you do 16.7 damage it has 2.5 seconds short reload and 3.35 seconds long reload it has a 30 round magazine plus one in the chamber it's Vertical recoil is 0 0.57, its left pull is 0 0.4 and its right pull is again 0 0.4 and its first shot multiplier is 2.1. As far as the attachments go, I went with a Cobra Red Dot sight, a laser sight to further increase my hip fire accuracy. As for the barrel, we can choose anything since it has a pre-attached compensator and for the underbarrel under attachment we again have pre-attached vertical grip so that's it so let me know what do you guys think about the new Groza 1 do you like it? do you hate it? it is it your preferred choice for the close quarters now or it is just another gun that's been added into the game let me know down below into the, in the comment section. So if you guys enjoyed today's little review, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below for more content like this. So again guys, thanks for watching and goodbye.